Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. And for today's video, I'll share with you what things that you need to do when the Gobo Muffin is released. Here's some tips that you won't want to miss. Let's start with, what is Gogo Muffin? Gogo Muffin is a charming idle MMORPG that blends automated gameplay with the thrill of progression. From teaming up with your companion, defeating fearsome bosses, and upgrading your character. The game offers a relaxing yet rewarding experience. Its colorful world, unique classes, and resourceful farming systems make it accessible for casual players. If you're just starting out, this guide will introduce you to the core mechanics of the game. We'll walk you through the class system, gameplay loop, and other essential features, ensuring you're ready to maximize your adventure. Let's get started. Choose your playstyle. Your adventure in Gogo -Go Muffin begins with picking one of five distinct classes. Each class offers unique playstyles and skills that cater to different player preferences. Wayfarer. An agile archer excelling in precision and single target damage. Ideal for players who love to pick off enemies from a distance. Scholar. A mystical mage wielding elemental magic. Scholars specialize in AoE damage, perfect for clearing multiple enemies at once. Shadow Lash. A stealthy thief who uses dual blades for rapid attacks. Their agility and speed make them deadly against unsuspecting foes. Swordbearer. A tanky warrior with balanced offense and defense. Swordbearers lead the charge, soaking up damage while dealing steady hits to foes. Acolyte. A divine support class capable of healing allies and wielding holy magic. Acolytes are essential for keeping teams alive during challenging fights. So, to sum it up. Wayfarer equals DPS. Scholar equals DPS. Shadow Lash equals DPS. Sword Bearer equals Tank. Acolyte equals Healer. But, these two classes, Sword Bearer and Acolyte, it can be a DPS too. But not too strong, like the 3 DPS. So, it depend on you what classes do you want to play. Then, after that. Find a good companion. Your companion should be an active player, not a mercenary. Finding a companion is very important in this game. Helping together achieving some task or some trials. Clearing a certain number of enemies in a stage. And challenging the stage bosses together, and many more. That's why choosing a right companion is very important. Here's some basic tips for you choosing a good companion. If you are a support. Like tank or healer. It's better to choose DPS class as your companion to make it balance, or if you don't like. It can be two DPS. And if you can't find a companion. You can find someone into your guild or maybe, create an alt for you as your companion. And then for the shop. Go to camp. And click this hamster. And you will see the available items that you can buy. And these items are recommended to buy. Gold chest. Star EXP Pet Food Super Growth Snacks Black Ash and EXP Booster These items you should buy every day. And for weekly supplies. These items you should buy. Stellarite Star Pack Power Crystal Black Ash and Star EXP These items are weekly, so don't rush to buy it all in one go. And for the items. Don't recast your items in early stage. Because the low level items it only give you little stats. And not good to waste your materials and gold. Let's compare these two rings, the level 38 ring and the ring with level 64. As you can see in the picture. When you recast both ring, the level 38 ring, it can only give you a little bit low stats compared to level 64 ring. So, it's not recommended to recast your low-level items, and it's better to recast higher-level item, like level 80 or higher. And for auto and manual skill. There's two methods to change your selected skill to auto or manual. First, click to your profile picture. 
Then click the setting. And click skill setting. And for this, you can select what skill you want to auto or manual. And also click this button to fast shift to auto and manual. A little bit long right? And the second is, go back to your journey. And then, hold click this auto button. And you can now select and change your selected skill to auto or manual in a short time. And this for today's video. I'll post the part 2 of this basic tutorials for GoGo Muffin soon. So, make sure you don't miss that. And, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching my video.